Hello, this is Dave again. Um, this is the third video in the series, how to create your own inspirational videos. In this uh, third video, we're going to be talking about adding special effects to a video that we already created. I'm using the Cam Studio recorder to record what I'm doing on screen. Uh, and I'm going to be using the Windows Movie Maker in order to actually create my video. Uh, we already have a video created. We uh, imported pictures right here from our picture directory, My Mind Movie Angels. This is a movie about angels here. And then I uh, selected all my GIF files here, or JPEG files here, and um, click Import and brought them into my um, picture collections here. And then I took each picture and I drag, dragged it down into my work area here and as you can see the way I did it I did a text picture slide and then followed that up with a picture slide corresponding picture slide for instance I love my life and a picture of, of a person who looks happy and the next one says I'm grateful for all that that I have and another picture of a person that looks like they're very happy and my outlook is positive and another happy person and my life is full of love and two people kissing obviously in love and love is truth and a picture of a heart and so on and so forth so that's how I made my movie um, the text slides were created in PowerPoint um, they were uh, saved as um, PowerPoint slides in GIF format and uh, the picture files were got were um, I got them off of um, websites that store pictures such as Flickr um, now to um, oh yeah and uh, one more thing one more thing you, you want to do is go into tools and options and under advanced um, the uh, default picture duration is five seconds. That's um, way too slow. And the default uh, transition duration is also five seconds. You want to change that to about two seconds, which is about right. Um, don't change it to one second and slow it too fast. Um, it's great if you're going to do a rock video, but for a relaxation video, you want to change it to about two seconds maybe three seconds is a little bit slow two is about right I think and you can also change the default um, uh, view down here to either um, this is storyboard view right here the way it's shown here so you can see each slide the way it'll look uh, it's pretty easy to tell what the picture slides will look like and the text slides kind of too although the text is a little bit small here you can change this to timeline view which looks like this uh, as you can see each slide is way too small to see at two seconds uh, if I change that to five seconds it might be a little easier to see but uh, the advantage of doing it this way is you can tell how long the whole thing will be and in this case the whole thing will be um, about two minutes and 40 seconds long according to this and this is also where I drag my uh, music file right here I drag it in here and make it the same length as my um, picture slides right there then the next step I want to do is to add uh, video effects right here Okay. Uh, let me pause for a minute. Okay, back into our movie again um, on video special effects. Here's our special effects here. 
Blur, brightness, brightness increase, ease in, ease out, fade in from black, fade in from white, fade out to black, fade out to white, film old age, film age older, film age oldest, film grain, grayscale, etc., etc., etc. There's also view video transitions. The difference between view video effects and view video transitions is uh, transitions work between each slide whereas effects work on the slide so the effect blur brightness brightness increase ease out ease in whatever work on the slide and the transitions bars bow tie uh, bow tie vertical checkerboard circle and so on and so forth they work between the slides okay so that's the difference between the two uh, on the video effects, the one that I like to use most often is fade in from black. And the way you um, make these work for a slide is you grab it and you drag it down to the little box in the um, uh, left hand lower corner. And that applies that, that um, video effect to that slide like that and you have to do that for each slide which is a bit of a hassle but in Windows Movie Maker it's the only way to do it okay so what I'm doing there is I'm uh, applying fade in from black to each one of these slides here and I could have chose any other one of these uh, and there's quite a few as you can see um, and if I wanted to also I could um, use uh, video transitions between the slides like bars bow tie horizontal bow tie vertical checkerboard whatever um, I, I could um, um, show the end of these here except they, they don't show up very well in the display window here under the cam uh, studio recorder so I'll just show you how to do it but I can't show you what it looks like however okay and so after we add our uh, video effects and our video transitions then the next thing we might want to do is add um, titles or credits and we can do that here under titles and credits and we can uh, create a title at the beginning Like that, and um, my screen might be going crazy here, so I'll just um, pause this right here. But you